everybody, my name is Default Noise, and today I am going to make a little video going over phase plants and just this cool little technique I found for making awesome base patches and a little workflow I found. And hopefully it'll help you guys out a little bit too. So basically, well before I start I want to preface this with, we'll be working with bass and like subs, so if you don't have headphones on I'd go ahead and throw those on. If you don't have headphones, you can still follow along, I'm sure you'll basically understand what's going ha, basically um, what we're gonna do I've just got an, an initial patch on faceplant I'm gonna start a new group with a wavetable so right now we've just got a basic sine wave that is outputting to lane one um, I'm gonna pitch this down two octaves just so we got a nice beefy sub when I play here uh, if you can't hear that it's just a pure sine wave next up I am going to add a new group and then in that group I'm going to add a new wavetable and this is where the fun starts so we can pick out an, another wavetable um, I don't know what I want to do I'll do all right that sounds pretty cool so sorry about that I should have picked out what I was going to do before I actually started recording but I picked the triple wavetable which is under Growls. Growls and triple. So I've pitched it down to uh, or an octave again. Two octaves. I don't really know. Um, but anyway, basically we've got our sub base here on group one. Ooh, I can rename it. Uh, I'll say sub. And then I'll have the, um, I guess, overtones, the harmonics. I'll just say distortion because what we're going to do is just distort the crap out of that. And so basically we've got our sub. And our distortion here. Our sub we're going to uh, send to lane 1, which will be this right here. And then our distortion we're going to send to lane 2, which will be over here. And now this is a, the really important part, is we're going to take our send from lane 1. We're going to send that to master. You could send it to lane 3 if you want, but um, I just want to bypass lane 2 with our sub. So it's going to go from sub to lane one out to the master. And we're going to go from distortion to lane two out to master as well. And so we're just bypassing lane three because for this tutorial, I'm not going to actually put anything on here. Um, if you wanted to, you could do what I'm doing here, but send them both to lane three. And then you could add some like EQing or compression to kind of glue the sounds together. But that's out of the scope of this tutorial right now. So uh, we're going to start with the sub. Um, actually just kidding I'm not gonna touch the sub really so from right here I'm gonna turn the gain down a little bit and just let you listen to it so you can hear we've just got a little bit of a distortion little wavetable over top of it over top of the sub and so I'm going to on lane 2 add fatuator because why not just really distort this high end and then I'm going to add a slice EQ, take out any of the clashing low end. So I'm just going to do a, a high pass. That And so the purpose of that is we've got our sub coming into lane one. And you can see it's just this sub frequency that's going over like not even like 100 hertz, like 80 hertz. So our sub is hitting probably right around like uh, 45 hertz or whatever I guess it depends on the note you're playing but um, I'm just slicing out that those frequencies from our high end one I feel like I'm not explaining that well at all but hopefully you follow along and that makes sense to you so we have our sub going to lane one and then going to master so I guess technically you could just send it to master from here but in case you wanted to add like a little bit of distortion just to beefen up the bottom end that sounds pretty cool and then that way that isn't affecting the high end because if you did like both of them to lane two it sounds ridiculous so the benefit of this and the whole reason we're doing this is so we can split the two wavetables and two different groups the subs and the distortion to the different lanes and process them with effects separately because with serum and things a lot of times you'll process them inside of FL Studio and if you want to make a 
bass, it's a lot harder to process the sub from the distortion and the harmonics of the bass inside of Serum and routing it to FL Studio in your mixer. And the cool thing about Faceplant is you can do all this in one, in Faceplant. So just out of, I'm just gonna go down to one voice so I don't accidentally play multiple notes. But that's basically it. Um, you can do a lot of cool things like add some LFO to it, add some modulation. So if I wanted to add some movement to the harmonics and not touch the bass, I can just do this and add the LFO to our frame and then move it up to whatever. That sounds awful. Let's try this. That way you can just add a bunch of random things to it, play around. All the fun is in experimenting. And that way you can add some movement to it without making the sub move as well, because a lot of times you won't want a lot of sub movement, especially if you're changing things up and adding things over top. It can get really muddy fast with having a lot of movement in your sub frequencies. And you can just throw all sorts of stuff on it. You can even you can modulate everything. So you can even modulate like this. So there's plenty of things you can do. You can mess around with all these effects. Faceplant has a ton of awesome built-in effects and you can just mess around with add some cool things but with this workflow it'll equip you with the right tools and knowledge hopefully in theory to uh, make all these awesome sounds and have a different workflow which will hopefully inspire some creativity so if you guys got any use out of this which I really hope you did leave a comment down below and let me know what you think if you want more tutorials about just random stuff, let me know, and I'll probably honestly do it regardless of if you want it or not. So stick around, subscribe if you want random videos, let me know what you guys end up making, post your music, let me hear it, and I look forward to seeing you guys in the next one.